cover-up murder case of my son, Ted Schmidt. Day 8. This is his brother. He is going to have a little say on this video. We're looking for justice on a, on a case that was considered an accidental death. This accidental death had 27 injuries to his body. The man that laid there dead on a scene where all the witnesses are convicted violent felons was my brother, the only one that was not a convicted felon. And the children. And the children that were there. I need to say that out of 22 people that were there, that were the investigating team that was there, they were all kin to the family. The only stranger that had any problem lied there dead, face down, was my brother. There's been no justice. There's been nothing. And in the state of Florida, it is a felony to use a knife in self-defense. And fork. And that reason alone, Otis should have been arrested that night. But instead, he walks free still to this day. Now, you're from where? And I am from Fort Myers, Florida. I was born in 1963, September the 3rd, the same date my brother was murdered. We need justice. And at this point, it goes all the way down or all the way up to the top on the cover-up. And that's exactly what this was, was a cover-up. They said that the EMS had no authority to state that he had divinity had set in and that he was cold to the touch. Well, if they do not have the authority or the knowledge to say that, then they shouldn't be EMS people. But they were the strangers, along with my brother, who laid there dead, face down, with 27 injuries to his body. And they called it an accidental death. Collier County needs to be held responsible. And the man that did it needs to be held responsible. Thank you. God bless.